one of the main questions that I get asked a lot is how can I develop or cultivate a reading habit? So today I'm going to be sharing valuable tips on how to build, how to develop and how to cultivate a reading habit. Let's get into it. <music> Welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's Rachel here. As always, hit that subscribe button so you never miss a thing. You can like this video so that it is referred to other viewers as well. If you're subscribed, also hit that notification button so that anytime a video drops, you are aware of that. So like I said, today we're going to be sharing tips on how you can read more. A lot of people always ask me, how can I develop a reading habit? I love to read in the past, but I've fallen out of the passion of reading or there's somewhere in Side of me that really really wants to read but I just don't know where to start from or some people are like I hate to read but I want to fall in love with reading how can I develop that habit how can I just keep it going so that it's not a thing of I've started reading today and then I fell off the wagon two days later so today like I said I'm going to be sharing some valuable tips that can help you get reading keep you reading and just ultimately develop a reading habit if you've been reading before and you fell out of love with it or life just happened these tips will be guaranteed to get you falling back in love with reading in no time again so my first tip would be to ask yourself why why do you want to get reading again or why do you want to develop or cultivate a reading habit it's very important to always know what your why is when you are about to undergo a life change or a change in lifestyle undertake a new project or even a task that may be something that you have to follow through in the long run so you have to ask yourself why is it to gain a skill is it to fall in love with it again is it for knowledge purposes for entertainment is it to use as an escape there always has to be a why so that when you get far ahead and you find yourself in any form of reading slumps then going back to your why would ultimately help to keep you consistent in reading and just developing that reading habit generally so ask yourself why why do you want to read more why do you want to read again when you have found your why the second tip would be to have a reading goal now I typically don't recommend like reading goals to people who are already established readers because I mean people they like to read you always find them with books and things like that but if it's something that you're trying to reignite again or get into for the first time then I heavily recommend that you have a reading goal your reading goal does not necessarily have to be in terms of the quantity of books that you want to read in a specific period of time it could also be about the quality the kind of books that you want to read the genres you want to cover maybe you want to read non-fiction five non-fiction books or you want to read more non-fiction books or not not or more fiction books in a period of time so have a, re a reading goal and I would recommend of course that you write down that reading goal so that you can refer to it from time to time your reading goal doesn't have to be the same as anybody else's it's special to you it's unique to you so have a reading goal my third tip would be to set a daily weekly reading goal so now you've had a reading goal of what kind of books you want to read maybe in the month or in three months or in a year um typically if you're starting to read i would say stick to giving yourself a daily a, a monthly reading goal so that you don't go too far and say the year the year always seems too far you can always break down your goals into sub goals so now that you've had you've asked yourself why you've written down your written goals the next step would be to have a daily reading goal or a weekly goal this is very very important you can set aside time either in the morning after you wake up as part of your morning routine or in the night as you're winding down you can also read at lunch time if you're at work and your lunch time permits you to read at work you can always set aside an hour or an hour 30 minutes or even two hours every day and maybe four hours or six hours every week to read however you go about it is totally up to you just make sure that you do something that favors you and something that works with your schedule so that you're not struggling to read remember that ultimately you shouldn't be like forcing yourself to read at the beginning it might be a little bit tough to incorporate it into your schedule but reading is fun reading is light even if it's for knowledge purposes i mean you should sort of enjoy it if you're learning new things so please set a daily or weekly reading goal my fourth tip would be to get a book buddy or accountability partner 
or join a book club i cannot continue to emphasize how helpful this is especially if you're trying to read again there are months there are going to be weeks where things will be crazy either from work school you know life family you can get really overwhelmed with a lot of responsibilities and may not have time to read but imagine going for a book club meet every month where you meet book lovers who are discussing a book whether you were able to start it or you were not able to finish it and you get that motivation and inspiration to get going and this book club does not have to be physical it could be virtual so look around in your neighborhood or look around online any books any book club that you see that you would like to join you can send a message reach out to the person or the host or the you know whoever it is that is convening the book club meet and get going if you're not able to join a book club then you can have a book buddy amongst your friends or even somebody on social media that you're following that you admire you can reach out to the person and have a book buddy you guys can read a particular book and discuss it afterwards if you're not able to finish the book the person can check up on you if the person is not able to finish you can check up on the person as well and this sort of helps with accountability and just keeping you going giving you that inspiration or motivation because trust me sometimes you may not be in the mood to read even when you've gotten on that role even when you become a book lover and just sort of keeping in touch with other people who love to read is also a very good source of inspiration or motivation to develop a reading habit my fifth tip would be to explore different formats of books especially for people who are trying to get into books for the first time people are so like oh the only forms of books are hard copy books and e-copy books in fact a lot of people are like if it's not a hard copy book then it's not a book at all but I will always keep on reminding you. So this is your daily reminder that audiobooks are books too, e-copy books are books are books too, and graphic novels too are books as well. And you can have different forms of books. And that's something that has really helped me over time to keep me consistent in reading and just falling in love with reading all over again. I know recently I just read an Archie comic for the first time in like over 15 years and it brought back so many memories. I love the fact that I can just check up and do some research and find some graphic novels books that have like lovely designs sometimes if i'm in the mood or i'm carrying out a task trying to clean up i can listen to an audiobook if i'm taking a walk or doing some other mindless activities you guys can check out my video that i um shared some tips on how to listen to audiobooks that's one um and then you can also try e-copy books so just remember that it doesn't always have to be in tra traditional format of books that you see other people around you reading there's so much that you can explore there's so many articles there's so many journals there's so many things that come there's short stories collections there's like anthologies there's a lot of things that have been put together in books that you can explore so if you're looking to develop a reading habit be open to exploring different different genres different formats of books number six would be always carry a book with you so this could be on your phone or this could be a hard copy book I'm literally always with a book because I don't know where I would find myself but if you don't have like a bag that you can put a book in then if you're reading an e-copy book or you're listening to an audio book that's awesome because imagine if you have to like even if it's in between work you have to wait for an appointment you have to wait for an interview you have to wait for something if you're waiting and you're just scrolling mindlessly through your phone then that might just keep you distracted and then you end up not reading anything but always have a book with you because you can keep yourself entertained you can learn new things and if you carry it around with you all the time even when you don't feel like reading but you don't even have your phone you can just open it and start reading and trust me that would help you to develop a reading habit number seven would be to get a commitment device or reading tracker i recommend this for first time readers or people that are looking to get into reading so maybe they're like apps or certain things that you can track if you want to be traditional and write like draw out a calendar so that you can track the days that you're reading the days that you're not reading get a reading journal or a reading planner like those are things that really really help ultimately because if you're able to do that then you can see how far your commitment to reading has gone you can see how well you're doing you can track your progress you can see whether you're growing or you're really developing and cultivating a habit and whenever you fall off which there's absolutely nothing wrong with or you fall into a reading slump then you know how to get help you know how to reach out to a book buddy you know how to join a book club you know where to get inspiration from to keep on reading my eighth tip would be to get rid of distractions in the world today there are just so many distractions especially from our phone from social media from our phones from emails from work for from messaging apps there's just so much our phones are always going off or we're so addicted to social media that as soon as we pick our phones we scroll directly to the social media apps just to see what is going on but one of the ways that can help you to develop or cultivate a reading habit or to 
to build a reading habit is to get rid of the distractions especially at the times that you want to read so if you've set a daily goal that okay today I'm going to read one hour for that one hour put your phone on silent or even turn it off if you can but put your phone on silent if you can move it to another room move it to another room if you're in a house where there are other people try and wake early or go to bed late I don't know whichever one works for you just so that you can get that quiet time and that quiet space some people always recommend to like build a nice cute reading nook a reading nook is sort of like where maybe a part of your house that can just be a small cute part of your house it could be a sofa you know it could be somewhere by the window that you can just have like a nice cup of coffee or a nice cup of tea while you're reading even on a rainy day or something it just seems so nice and you know some people really take the extra time to design something nice just to keep them inspired so that anytime they walk past it or they look at it they're like ah yeah i have some reading to do so that's something that you can do that could help you build a reading habit my ninth tip would be to sh start with short books especially if you're getting into reading a lot of people say oh i like to read but i just really have a low attention span or oh you people that read 500 pages of books wow you guys try because i could never do that because by the second chapter my mind is already flying up and down i want to do other things there is a way to train your mind to calm down and the way you can do that is by picking short book so you know that the book is about to end whether it's a short audio book or whether it's a short ebook or a short you know hard copy book um you can pick a short book so that you can start with that as time goes on you may increase the length or even explore different genres that may be lengthier or things that you may want to read but i would recommend that you ultimately start with short books my last and tenth tip would be to read what you love as time goes on you would find different genres or different types of books that you just naturally Actually lean towards you like to read those books irrespective of what is going on in the book community online you find that there is this particular type of books that you would rather read or maybe that's what you used to read a long time ago where you fell in love with reading so stick to what you love especially at the beginning or you can also run to it whenever you find yourself in a reading slump I would still advise that as time goes on you explore other genres come out there is just so much like the book world is an amazing world to find yourself in like if you are looking to pick up reading or you're trying to I just want to let you know that you can first of all you can never read all the books on this planet so by the time you eventually become a, a book lover or a book reader an avid book reader you will find that you cannot read all the books on the planet like there's just so many books and so little time and it's something that you can fall in love with it's something that you can explore there are genres that that I am still exploring even till today so read what you love be okay with getting rid of books that you've started and you're like eh, I'm not really feeling this book so that you don't get thrown into a reading slump a lot of people always when they're trying to start reading they're like oh I don't want to disappoint myself I don't want to feel like a failure I started this book and I couldn't put it down and it was really boring or I just didn't like it but I have to struggle through I have to push through I have to read no you don't have to you can drop a book that you're not feeling come back to it later or or drop it forever you know you don't have to and my bonus tip would be to find a creative way to blog about your experience with reading so if you have a reading planner or a reading journal or you're active on social media either you create a blog or you create a social media page for your book like there's bookstagram there's booktube there's different ways of expressing your thoughts on books that you're reading what you liked and what you didn't really like and the bonus thing about that is that you have an amazing community of like-minded people who love to read books who will look forward to your recommendations or who will look forward to your to your thoughts on certain books and what you think about the books that you're reading so there you have it those are my 10 valuable tips for cultivating or building a reading habit if any of these tips were helpful to you let me know in the comments if you have any additional tips please let me know as well in the comment and drop them in the comment don't forget to like this video don't forget to subscribe and i will see you in my next video bye